once we have the set up the account connections we we need to add the tickers uh, we want to analyze or type uh, to do so we go to tools instrument manager and the pop-up will appear with some tickers already in it a common problem is that when you have when you are trading futures you can see some futures that expire and as uh, most people uh, don't find out how to delete it okay this is the uh, await shown contact of the e-mini if we want to delete that one because there is uh, it's, it's not tightened anymore obviously we have to select it with the left button of the mouse and click here removes an instrument from the default instrument list when the rollover on features appears we can go here put yes search and we have here the future so we only have to go here and say okay I want the next contact let's say the next contact I want to try is the December 09 so the only thing I have to do is click here and it's added I delete it because I don't, I'm not interested in it. Okay, this is when you already have the ticker available. If you don't have a ticker available, you go click on new, put the ticker, let's say UYC, the ultra ETF of the financial sector, go in exchanges and select one. Uh, it, it's not needed to be uh, the real market is just a matter of, of a selection but if you choose Nasdaq it's just the same go to uh, MISC tab and you have to go to symbol map in symbol map you have to choose the same ticker you just put but uh, regarding uh, the stock broker you are using or the or the that, uh, data feed you are using. For instance, if you are using a signal, you just put UYC over here and OK. But if you are trading interactive brokers or, for instance, TD Ameritrade, you put UYC over here. So you click OK. And you have to look for it. It's in the list, but the list is pretty long. So U U Y C search we select it and click over here to add it so you have it here added okay when you click on new and you put anything over here let's say DD when you go to MISC you have two choices first choice is the symbol map that actually tells the software where it should find the the data from which data feed you have Semfire, Yahoo, Ameritrade uh, and so on and so forth so you have to choose first that if you are trading live or you are simulating but you want it to be a perfect simulation you have to go to commissions and check for instance TD Ameritrade and when it says commission level you can read no commission levels defined and define a commission level making click in the dots clicking new and you have the commission so you have in Ameritrade if I remember accurately it's 9.99 so you put that over there And click OK and you have one commission level defined so if the if your worker have has one level at easy as it is in uh, in a meritory that is a fixed amount you have to do only that if you have commission like the one in interactive brokers the situation is uh, a little different if you go to interactive brokers you have to set 
uh, a commission level and you have to set a minimum commission and it will uh, choose the initiator intelligently uh, um, will choose the correct one so but that's not the point of this particular video the main point is you have to uh, create the tickers that there are not here but you can look first if they're here or not as you can see Alcoa is and you should only have to select it and add it and over here you see that you can use the default but if you are trading uh, many different assets equity futures whatever you can choose to create your own list beyond Dow, Nasdaq, S&P the ones you see here for do that for doing that you have to choose new at the left put some name on it let's say test okay and you can see there is nothing in there so we'll add Alcoa and that's it next time let's say okay first next time you want to trade or analyze something you will find it on the drop down menu as we will see in a further uh, into the future video